Hey everybody, Ranch in here, bring you all another StarCraft commentary. Lost Saga MSL continues, and now it's going to be the third quarterfinal match, and man am I looking forward to this one. It's going to be a possible five games of PVT for you guys, between Jongbi and Nada. And this, this is a matchup I really look forward to. Um, and I definitely got to put the favor right away on Jongbi. Jongbi is right now the best... Protoss versus Terran player ever. He's at 71% PVT. That is in friggin' sane. He is insane PVT. I don't even remember the last time he lost to a Terran. Currently with a perfect record in the MSL round of eights. He's been here twice before and got through that pretty well last time. Got himself into the finals. We're gonna see whether he manages to play just win it all this time. Um, he doesn't have Bisu in his way, so he also has a very, very funky keyboard where there's lots of whites and lots of blacks. Um, I wonder if that's kind of he just sees from the bottom of his eye to know which, just in case, but both of, well, I think for the most part these players don't actually need to see what's happening. What the hell? He's like smiling watching the screen. I think these guys might be chatting or something. Throwing curses at each other. So on the other side you have Nada, the most what I who I believe is the most decorated StarCraft player in existence. He's 57% lifetime TVP, and that's actually pretty pretty darn good. Um, he's kind of been resurging a little bit. He got into the round of eight in the MSL last time, where he lost 3-0 to free. Um, for his sake, I definitely hope he puts up a better performance this time. I'm gonna see whether he manages to do what Savior did not manage to get into the semifinals. I know he sell. He himself said that he wanted a sa he to play Savior in the finals, but that's unfortunately not going to happen. And we're going to see, though, whether he takes this kind of to spirit just to try to play better. So go, 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 go. Four, three, two, one, go. I look forward to this insanely, man. Wow, I'm looking forward to some pretty damn good PVT. So it's going to be on Byzantium 2, a very even map. On the lower left, five o'clock, seven o'clock. I'm sorry. We're gonna have Nada in white as the Terran, and at what I believe is one o'clock, we're gonna have Jongbi in I believe pink or purple, whichever that is, violet. I don't know. So there's a very, very even map between these races. I think one race has like one win over the other. So overall, Byzantium 2 is one of the most even maps in the league right now, and I find its use. The fa in this MSL is actually very interesting and I think it just gives some very good games a four player map of course and just gives us overall very interesting maps because of how the map is because you got your main on the low ground you got everything else on the high ground then you got again the middle you got on the low ground again so there's plenty of uh, you know surrounding place to surround for Protosses they can do pl plenty of pincher movements they can trap the Terran inside, but at the same time, there is high ground that Terrans can take control of and just siege from. Uh, a slow push is a little bit difficult because you got to slow push up a ramp. Uh, th that is, if the Terran, if the Protoss kind of holds you there. But overall, it could be very effective. We're going to see overall what kind of tactics they're going to go for. I'm not expecting any sort of cheese. The both of these players are best at their macro. I mean, Nada is still. I mean hasn't lost that much I gotta stop saying that I mean what the heck is that he's now sending SV both players sending a scout and um wow Jongbi setting just straight across I believe or no he's actually they're both players are gonna set him up left into the same location and they're gonna see each other scouting I think from there and then probably find out where each other's player is so they're probably gonna scout each other if they spot each other here then yeah they probably will so they'll know where they come from yep the probe spotted the SCV. Now he's still gonna go. I'm not quite sure if not. A, oh, not am I actually not have spotted the probe. Just went right out. So I'm gonna score and gas. Now coming up for Jungbi. And this uh, this matchup here is all gonna come down to how Nada's ma macro is. I believe how his macro and at the same time his troop management is gonna be. If he manages to win battles inside, he's gonna be have to be very careful of Jungbi's troop management because he just controls his army so well against Terrans. He macros up like crazy. Gets his no get now getting his second gateway. Submariner's core almost ready, so he's definitely going to have goons up, probably going to get goon range up for those two gateways and just pop a bunch of goons. I don't see any uh, zealots for him so far, and Jungbi now has that probe inside. Going to see whether he manages to disrupt any sort of building placement, any sort of stuff like that. 
So it's all going to come down to Nada. I expect just battles in the middle. Jungmino getting his Dragoon range. I expect some sort of huge battles in the middle. And they're just going to all come down to those. How well Nada manages to hold off. Now getting his first Marine. And pumping a few Marines. Also getting his first Factory. And if Jungmi plays a standard strong PVT, I think he should be able to win this. And Nada's going to have to pull out something out of his hat to not give Jongbi the win. Because he's going to have to be very careful. And we're going to see whether... This is, of course, going to be a 5 set game. And both players are have experience. <laughs> Nada has a lot more experience than that. But w with Jongbi, I think exper not any experience Nada might have at this point won't have it. Wow! Wow, only 51%, ha almost half and half on who wins. That's actually very surprising. You'd think people would look at uh, Jongbi's stats against Terran and instantly give him the win, but apparently not. So Nada now getting his machine shop going, so he's probably going to go for tanks, or m he might even be going for mines. Apparently just getting one factory up, so he might be thinking of actually putting up down expansion. He has four marines as well. He might be actually thinking of getting a tank, and then slow pushing out. He has four marines, probably going to get five, six marines maybe. Still pumping marines, then get one tank, and then gonna try to put some pressure up on Jang Jangbi. Jangbi now moving out with his own first dragoon. Now, I'm not quite sure. He probably has range at this point. N nope, maybe not. N not gonna be able to do too much with those five marines there, though. Gonna be pushed back. Jangbi trying to micro that. Gonna tr put Xiao even two more dragoons now. So, not needs to get his tank out fairly soon if he wants to hold this off. Now, getting even more marines. Now, has six marines. Gonna be very careful in engaging that dragoon. Jangbi just gonna wait for another dragoon to come out. The first tank is now on the way for Nod as well. He's going to be very very careful. There's now three Dragoons that are going to start bearing down on him. And if he does, okay, first tank now is out. And he's going to have to be very careful to push the back. Still producing a lot of Marines. That's very interesting. Now, seven Marines that are on the floor. And first tank, I don't think Jaime's going to push this. He, oh, does manage to prevent Not a scout, though. Not a did send out an SCV. And now his machine shop is spinning. Now going to try to use those Marines. Eight Marines now that out there with along with the tank. I think he's getting range at this point. See Siege Mode, I'm sorry. And one Marine loses his life and he moves forward. Marines trying to take in some Dragoon shots. Even more m Marines being produced. And that Machine Shop still spinning. I assume that's for Siege Mode tank. And Marines going to move out at those forward Moon Dragoons. There is range upgraded. Those Dragoons, I believe, at this point. Now five Dragoons. And Jaime putting on very low pressure. Two tanks now out there for Nada. Nada has to be very careful to protect those tanks. Going to wait for Siege Mode. And Engaging those, an SCV coming out, probably to repair. Marines, some lose their right. Two Dragoons, although have lost their lives, not going to be pushed back. Jangbi, not doing a very good job with those two tanks and six Marines. Definitely going to prevent Jangbi from doing any sort of damage. He getting his, Jangbi, meanwhile, is getting his robotic pursuit. Another Marine loses his life there. Not enough pushing out, trying uh, preventing any sort of contain. There's a Vulture out with mines, so it actually wasn't Siege Mode, just with a Vulture out there and those mines. Then definitely going to be no contain. Not even while not getting his expansion. And Jangmi on the other side is getting his robotic support. So he's going to try to do some sort of harassment. 